All right guys, what is going on? So today we are doing an install video on our brand new headlights. Thanks to our friends at Morimoto for sending over their brand new S650 style Gen 2 XB lights. I got them in the, tr in the truck right here. About to pull them out, unbox them, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on disassembling this. Let me go ahead and turn the camera real quick and show you what we're working with. All right, so we've got the uh, trunk of the Explorer stacked full of the parts. Got the car in the lift, hello. So I'm gonna go set this all up and put on the lift, pull the wheels off, and then start getting this bumper off to do these headlights. So obviously Minion's right here in Derek's HQ. So I'm about to grab the lights out of the Explorer, come over here, we're gonna unbox them, get the lift ready, pull it up, and then start getting this bumper off. All right, let's go ahead and grab these, so. <laughs> Got the new uh, Morimoto box, this thing's pretty big. So let's go ahead and put this down right here. All right, so I got the box right here. We're gonna go ahead and open that real quick, see what we're working with and get started. All right guys, so before we go ahead and hop into the installation video, I just wanted to come on here and give you a little bit of information on the light so I forgot to mention throughout the video. So number one, let's talk about the price of them. So as of right now, they are pre-order only. They are priced at $1,150. Obviously that can change. So take that with a grain of salt. Make sure you check the website. The link will be in the description of the video that takes you directly to the, their webpage with the light. They are 174% brighter than your factory low beam and like 170% brighter than your high beam. They are a triple by LED light, which means every projector you see is gonna be your low beam and your high beam light. Warranty wise, they have an industry leading five year warranty, which is amazing. They have an anti-UV coating on the exterior of the light, so they shouldn't yellow, they shouldn't go different colors and gross out. So they look really good. Obviously, you have your amber up here that you can also change with the harness in there that we will talk about in the video from amber to clear. Looks insane. So your factory headlight only has 530 lux in the low beam. These have 1450. So they're very much brighter. Your high beam lux goes from, from 630 on factory to 1530 on these. And then as you look on the inside, they've got a nice black interior trim in there with like the titanium gray outlines around the U. The side profile is great. All in all, these are my favorite Gen 2 headlights that have ever come out. And then for fitment, it's gonna be all 15 to 17 gts gt350s and gt500s from 2020 to newer if you're interested in a set of these make sure you go to the description check out the link straight to the morimoto website and take a look at them thank you morimoto for hooking me up on these and let's dive into the installation video all right we're gonna go ahead and get this thing open push hard now run down there you go Damn. now just pull hard look at that you just learned something new sick all right, let's see what we are working with. Nice packaging. I already like it. What is this? Then we pull the covers off. Go ahead and this is gonna be the passenger side. Look at that thing right there. They look perfect. They got the, the U and everything. So let's go ahead and get this thing on the lift and get working. Let's go ahead and peel the bag back a little bit. Take a look at it. They look nice, got that little bit of like a smoked lens to them. And they got like the chrome, chrome U in there for the match the S650 style. Let's go ahead and walk over to Derek's car and see the similarities between the stock S650 lights and these, obviously. They both share the same U. They both have the turn signal up at the top. And- Do they look almost identical? Yeah. They even match the side. They just had to go with the amber instead of the black. Ooh, I, like, I do like the black. You could always uh, get a vinyl piece. I think that's an actual light though. Oh, is it? We'll have to find out when we plug it in. They are SAE and DOT compliant. So they are 174% they are brighter than your factory stock headlight. 
so we'll have to do a comparison to see the brightness. But we'll get into that here in a minute. Let's go ahead and get Mini on the lift. So here's a little before the headlights. Obviously you got the uh, single HID projector with the tri bar. Dude, those things and are crusty. Sequential. Damn, I'm actually glad you're replacing those. It's gonna look good, dude. You've been doing a lot for this thing. Oh yeah, it's gonna look sick. It's gonna look really good. Alright guys, let's go ahead and get these taken off. Alright, front wheels are off, so now that gives us a view of everything up here to pull off the tabs and the clips to get the fender out so I can get the bumper off. Obviously, this is held on by a lot of zip ties that we gotta cut. And then I got these holes from the front grill. All right, so now you're gonna go ahead and take off your cow panel. So now, hi. Yeah. Okay, so that's taken off and now we got to do the fender liners and then these screws right here So now we got to go around since the whole underside of my car is held up by zip ties mm -hmm. I got to go under and cut them all off. Yeah, what are you laughing at? <laughs> all right So there's two There's two Yo boy I might if I can get myself under, I'm about to be a creeper under here. Brandon actually under the vehicle sliding his rolling pulley butt everywhere he goes. At least Derek got the clean spot before now. Oh yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> but he's got it because his car. Whew, there we go. <laughs> so, <laughs> Damn. So we have to kind of, you know, put everything together. So Okay, there's one more up here. Used to have bolts and whatever. Don't you have to do that light. Oh, good. There's not. No, he did it. Oh, I did it on this side. Brandon, he left another fucking clip. Uh, find a dollar for every clip he left. I got three bucks. So, this is the 10. Oh, yeah, you want to. So, that'll be up here. So, that one and that one. Check this out. There you go. Got the power of Christ within me. It was loose like that? There you go. That headlight's never been out, so I don't know why it was that loose. That's the one that they replaced. Oh yeah, it was. God, the body shop is terrible. Dude, you, you this didn't car. show them the washers, did you? No. The... <laughs> I almost wouldn't. <laughs> Just leave that out of there. God. I unplugged it from down here, but I don't know where you need shit. Let me see what's up, Billy. What is this? A clip. Alright, both headlights are out now. So now, Yay! we just reassemble. But first, I would you figure out, yeah, figure out your wiring and shit first. I'll put sure. your orange in the headdress. I gotta take this, fellas. We'll be right back. Stock headlight is out. Yeah? Okay, is that it? All right, so one of the headlights is in now. So you can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. Once the car is actually on, it'll do like a, a sequence with the, with the bi projectors. All right. That's parking light. Yep, so that's your parking light. That's your when your lights turn on. Yeah, and then that's just one on the thing. High beam it. Yeah, all three triple by LED projectors. So all three lights are a low beam and a high beam. So, and then. Yeah, you're gonna have some road oh, yeah. 
They are, they're bright, they're bright. We'll do another against the wall thing. Yeah. So now we're gonna grab, well first we're gonna do the wiring harness. So. So with the wiring harness, you can actually swap out different relays. And uh, I went ahead and mounted it right here so he doesn't have to take the bumper off to swap them out. All he has to do, pop the hood, get his fingers down in there, pop that blue relay out, put the next one in, tuck it back down, boom, good to go. Can swap we'll, on the fly. We'll showcase that, the relays here in a second, the different options. Right here is your headlight one. So that goes into there. There, that's plugged in. <laughs> you come down here with this. This gets plugged into your turn signal housing. So that's plugged in. And then that gets plugged into your actual turn signal. So my setup is a little bit different. I got some extra wiring here because I have the dynamic turn signals. So they have this purple wire that comes off another harness that gives you the DRL down bottom as well. So I'm gonna have like super DRLs. This thing's gonna be- We're gonna go ahead and grab this last headlock. Hey, there's, yeah, a a there's a bumper there. All right, oh, okay. I got this. Let's go ahead and peel the wrap off. Oh, that's satisfying. What the f was that? It hit me in the face. All right, so we're gonna go do this. Plug her in, Billy. Hey, uh, My line. Rubber pieces that go inside the jacket. Like, Where's oh the one? God, I don't even know. Where's the one from up here? Okay. I don't even. What you mean, like the? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. I have okay, no clue. Little rubber thing Mine's there. brand new. I okay. just bought that before I got the lift. Okay. Because my other one broke. Wait, hang on. We didn't plug in the headlight. Fuck. <laughs> like, can you reach it from back there? Uh, maybe. I don't know. All right, try it real quick, Joel. Hold on. Okay, we're good. Mother he got me too, and I even knew it was coming. Asshole. I didn't even know it was coming, I didn't. It was like a delay, I hit it and then it waited a second. I'm like, what the We are, no, we're not even missing a 10. Oh yeah, we are. Brandon. It's always a 10 millimeter. Better Brandon. find that. Oh, we're gonna have some serious issues if you don't find that brand new 10 I just bought. Oh, I know why. Just cut it. It's in my pocket. That's in your It's in. So we got both headlights in, in the process of getting the bumper back together. As you can see, DOT compliant through Morimoto. Over here, they're having a fun time trying to get the bumper back together so it doesn't fall apart. But those things look pretty sick. Let us finish getting the under tray and everything put on and then we'll put it down and do a little review on them. All right, so the install's done. I wanna show y'all so we got the amber selected on this side so you got the key right here so that's the black key which would be amber drl with the sequential turn signal you come over to this one we have the the blue key in so all you have to do is just unplug that replug in a new one and it switches the entire setup so this is white with the amber sequential turn signal let me show you all the other setting real quick drop a comment white or amber yeah. all right so this is the black key on this side so it's amber with uh, the sequential out turn signal this side i just switched to the red key as you can see back here that is going to be a white drl with the fade off turn signal so you can see that and then as we come over here the blue key is white drl sequential turn signal and the green key is yellow drl with the fade off that actually looks kind of cool but i do like the sequential just a little bit more thank you so much to morimoto for sending me these lights so i can bring y'all an amazing video i'm absolutely ecstatic with these lights they're gonna look absolutely insane in mustang week so be on the lookout for tons of content 
Uh, let me show y'all what these things are like at night, okay? That's where they really shine. So at night, the amber DRL looks insane, although it has the white DRL down bottom. And then over here, you got the bright white DRL with that matches the bottom. So it's a little bit of a choice. Uh, up against the wall, you can see that. But let me go ahead and turn these on for y'all so y'all can see how bright it actually is. So this is how they look at night. You got them at night with the amber DRL and then at night with the white DRL. And you can see how much brighter than stock they are on the wall. They're 174% brighter than the stock ones. Now, let me come over here and show y'all the high beams. As I go ahead and click that, they go up pretty far. At night, these can, are gonna be insane. So, thank you, Morimoto. These lights have been great, but let's go ahead and wrap up this review install video. All right. So this is the after exterior look. Look how sick that looks. With the yellow. I say, yeah, that looks crazy. They go the same way, but the uh, headlight is just a tiny, tiny bit faster but it's all good. They still look amazing. And in my opinion, this is the best looking headlight for the Gen 2s. Then we got the new Euros and they look so good. And the E85 is cooking. I smell it in the air. All right, guys. So now you can see their headlights are on, bumpers back on, everything looks amazing. Uh, I'm absolutely ecstatic how they look. They came out amazing. Y'all let me know in the comments below which color you like better between the white and the amber, and if you like the sequential or the fade off. Uh, make sure you're, you like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Tons more content coming. Uh, subscribe to Morimoto. The link will be in the bio where you can find these headlights to purchase. I definitely recommend them. Out of all the S650 style lights that are out there right now, this one takes the cake. These are the best in customability and with how easy it is to change what light you're on you all the other headlights bumpers got to come off you got to wire do this that and that this this is simple plug and play plug in connect no wiring you just plug them in change the color of your pigtail and you're done that's as easy as it is so see you on the next video thank y'all have a good one bye bye